All right, today we're going to talk about a problem that every RVer will eventually have. If you haven't had it already, you will. And I'm talking about the sewer hose running uphill. So when we got here to this campground, we noticed that the RV was at a slant and the, the sewer hookup was way back there. So not only are we going uphill, we had to use both of our 10 feet pieces of, of sewer pipe. So we're 20 feet of sewer hose running uphill. The problem with that is when we empty the tanks, we, uh, we have all this water that's still in the sewer hose. And it's a pain in the butt to get out, especially when your sewer hose is extended almost fully because you don't have enough room to really lift that water and kind of get it out of the sewer hose without spilling it or making a huge mess or anything. Tomorrow's a travel day, so I've already emptied all the tanks. I've closed all the valves, but now there's water still in my sewer hose, and that's because because of gravity and depending on how bad the slant is you could have water all the way up into your into your pipe system so the first step that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put gloves on you don't want to be handling any of this stuff just in case of an incident i'm going to grab my lid to my my pipe and i'm going to place it over here Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get as much water out of this sewer hose as possible. I'm going to do that by trying to lift it and trying to push that water down toward toward the uh, toward the sewer dump. I can feel it's heavy in there, so I know there's water in there. Because I don't have a lot of slack, there's still water in there, and, it, and because I had to use all of my uh, my hose, it's very cumbersome. You're like underneath the slide, working hard trying to get this stuff out, but you have to at least get it out to where it, when you unhook from the trailer, that that water is not going to come out onto you. So I'm going to do it one more time to get as much of that water out as possible. Then I'll show you a little trick on how to get it all out. Now under normal circumstances, that's probably the best I could do. And there's still water in there. So I would have to unhook from here and then just try to walk the water out until I get to this breaking point in the hose, disassemble that, and then walk the rest of the water out and just hope I didn't get covered with whatever water's still in there. It's probably a mixture of black and gray. I definitely don't want that. What I have here is called a sewer hose rinser. It has a little valve here. This side hooks to the water hose. This side hooks to your sewer hose. Has a little water stop valve right here. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that that's closed when you hook that up at first. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna hook this end to the water hose. If you don't have two water hookups like we have, um, you'll need one of these splitters right here because you're gonna to wanna to run a separate hose to your uh, hose rinser. That way you can still keep the water going in your, in your RV. But we have two here, so I have this one hooked to a separate one. There you go. And again, make sure that valve is, is closed. This is open. That's closed. Once your sewer hose rinser is hooked up, you can go ahead and turn the water on here. It's not going to come out there because we have that valve closed on the other end. All right, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to disconnect your water hose. And you got, I got my cap here. What I want to do is I want to take this off and I want to keep it under there a little bit just for that extra runoff to drip down in there to make sure it's not running out onto the ground or anything. It's already been emptied out, so it's just gonna be a couple of drips. Once I put the cap on, that'll keep those drips from coming out. So I'm gonna put the cap on there. And then I'm gonna take my sewer hose rinser and I'm gonna attach it here. That's gonna keep any water from coming back toward me. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna turn this valve on, which is gonna push water through this hose. And as it's pushing water through this hose, I'm gonna walk toward the sewer dump and it will push all the water that's just stagnant, just sitting in there, it's gonna push it out into the dump. Now it's continually running water through the hose and it's pushing that extra water out and then you don't have to worry about any of this coming back and blasting you with that dirty water. And you just make sure it scrunches down as you're walking it up. Once you get to here, you can turn this valve off raise this 
this hose up. It's going to dump all that water out of this hose here. Lift the bottom part of that hose up until you feel all the water come out of this hose. Once you got all the water out of this hose, you can go ahead and disconnect here. Make sure any drippings drip into the into the tube there. You want to keep this up because there's still water in this in this other part of this hose here. So you want to keep that you want to keep that up. You'll take this off. The valve's closed, so it's not going to leak out. You'll go ahead and secure this hose to where it's not going to leak onto anything, even though it's empty now. You're going to hook the second part to the second part of your hose. Make sure it's locked on. Kick that valve on again, and it's pushing water through there again. And you're walking that water out. Stretch that up as much as you can. Once you get it all the way scrunched up, you can kick this valve off. Lift that up. Unhook your rinser. And now you can just stand this hose up, dump the remaining contents out of there. Unhook your sewer hose, secure that. Remove the rest of your stuff and you're good to go. So now you have emptied your, your hose without spilling a drop of gray or black water. And in the process, not only did you empty all your water out of your hose, the rinser actually cleaned your hose as you were emptying it out. So again, this thing is called the sewer hose rinse and it's about $13 on Amazon. We'll leave a link in the description in case you want one of these. They come in really handy for not only for cleaning your hose, but for, like I said, just emptying those hoses that, that go uphill. Uh, a couple other things I want to show you real fast is uh, the hookup we have down here. Now, what would have made this even more difficult is if we would have had a, a thread on here that what doesn't allow you to, to thread in your in your sewer hookup. So we have a um, yeah, sewer hose seal. And the way that this thing works is it seals into, you can see there's three different levels. There's a smaller one, medium sized one, and then the fatter one. So no matter what the thing uh, looks like, this one doesn't even have threads. So this would have been super painful had I not had this to just plug in there. And no matter how big this sewer hose circle is, this thing will plug down in there. It plugged into the second one. So it stays in there and it stays sealed. And because this is not see-through and I still want to see what's going on in my sewer hose, I brought a, an extender and these things are about $11. All this stuff is on our Amazon store. We'll put a link in the description of the video. We'll make sure it's up top in the description too so it's easy to find. But all together, these three things together, less than $40 is going to save you a ton of headache. Now, the most important part of the whole video, wear gloves. Nasty if you don't wear gloves. Like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you watching. We hope you got something out of this. We'll see you next time. Bye.